My name's Alison Railton, I'm the Public Affairs Manager at the Association and I work in the Policy and Campaigns team. I've worked here for 19 years. The biggest change I've seen over the last 19 years is to do with digital campaigning. So when I first started it was all very much letter-based, emails to MPs, um, and over the last sort of few years we've been using different software so people can go in and, and put in their name and their postcode and they can send a very quick email to their MP. So instead of a small number of branches and groups writing to their MPs, we now have hundreds of supporters writing to their MPs for things like all party group meetings in Parliament. So the level of engagement with MPs has really transformed over that time, which has been fantastic. My fondest memory of working in the association is the day we found out that NICE, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, would be developing a guideline on MND. This is something we've been campaigning on for four years and the day that the, the list of conditions was published by the government and we quickly scanned down that list and we saw the three words motor neuron disease and we were absolutely delighted. It was a real tingling down your spine moment um, and we really hope that the guideline, now it's been published, will result in much better care for people with MND um, now and in the future. So that was a really special moment for us. My hopes for the future, in the short term, I hope the government will reform its welfare system so that people with terminal illnesses will get much faster access to, to benefits and be give, given those benefits for their lifetime rather than for a set period of time. That's something we're currently campaigning on. In the longer term, I hope that we will develop much more effective treatments to slow the progression of MND and ultimately find a cure.